Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. This has been wonderful. If you need to scoot up here and take a seat, don't worry. Just move past the, um, the person in front of you. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. So welcome. I'm really excited to um, kick off our Women's Health Matters series. Um, and uh, we're coming to you live from Body Wisdom DNA in Smyrna, Delaware. And uh, today we're going to talk about um, important topics as it relates to, um, to women's health. My name is Tanya Bain and um, I am with Inspire Networks and uh, we're sponsoring um, today's, um, today's session. And I uh, just want to let you know that we will be having ongoing sessions um, covering important health matters as it relates to women, families, um, you know, men. There are a host of topics that could be covered. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And the thing about it is that we need to stay informed. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, our session today, uh, like I said, is inspired by Inspire Networks and our Now We Know campaign. All right, uh, Now We Know campaign will, is a campaign that we're informing men and women uh, about the um, harmful effects of the um, sanitary napkin products that are on the market. So we're sponsoring today's session, um, but we're bringing you information um, about women's health in general. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and introduce today's, um, today's guest. Um, today's host, hostess. Yes. Um, LaDonna Graham. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so very much for, um, for having us here in your place of business. LaDonna um, is not only a personal friend, because you can't get rid of me. She <laughs> is <laughs> she is a uh, renowned uh, scientist um, and a holistic health practitioner. Um, she has uh, published um, in many uh, medical journals, has an extensive, um, extensive career, a certified career, starting from being a lab assistant um, just a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> many, many years ago, and she was born um, with an inquisitive nature an inquisitive nature that has um, really propelled her to look deep into um, how we're made and what it is that we can do in order to be, remain healthy. So, I would like to introduce you to LaDonna Graham. Thank Ooh. you very much. Welcome everyone, welcome, thank welcome. you for coming. Um, so, um, I'm glad you all came today because to talk about women's health is so dear to my heart. Um, I've been doing research about women's health for over 15 years, 15 plus years now. And the basis of my research has been ovarian cancer, um, environmental toxicity that actually affects the women's reproductive system and, and other organs of our body. Um, and even like West Nile disease, and which is also you know, connected to, in my opinion, like Lyme disease. Mm -hmm. So um, some of those things have co-infections that we just never talk about. And I am enthused to have this event so that I can educate more women, so you can have choices, so you can have solutions. Um, because that empowers you to get your health if it's, if it's out of control or if it's imbalanced, bring it back into the balance. And now that you know, now when you have more information, you can now make those decisions because you're more well informed, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what, what we all want, right? Um, so, um, how many of you guys drink water on a daily basis? Yes. Everybody drink water? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Way more than you want to, right? Right. right. Yeah. But did you know that some of our water has hormones in it? Are you guys aware of that? No. Delaware. Because of some of the environmental things that's going on, we have lots of toxicity hormones in our drinking water. Mm -hmm. And when we drink those, those are synthetic estrogen, which actually changes how our body responds to certain things. 
even our cycle because our estrogen controls how our cycle mm -hmm. we have it on a monthly basis mm -hmm. and so I, I don't believe that people know that there's a connection there mm -hmm. because of the amount of synthetic estrogen in the body it adjusts us because you know we are the carriers of life mm -hmm. so when we have our babies when we are pregnant we actually transfer what some of our blood, some of our DNA to our baby. Mm -hmm. So whenever you already have in your body, you're going to transfer it. So when you're doing the drinking water, if, you, if you're if eating chicken that has high hormones in it, you are actually transferring it to your baby without your control. Mm -hmm. So then the baby has a little bit more toxicity than probably what it would normally have. Mm -hmm. And that's just because you're in the environment. And it's not just only the drinking water, but what about what's going on in the air? What about your pharmaceuticals? Sure. What about when you get your brand new car and you smell the brand new car smell? Mm -hmm. Or your cleaning supplies? Mm -hmm. Or even just eating cereal? Because mm -hmm. cereal has <laughs> Glasgow phosphate. It's, so it has a lot of chemicals in there that mimic estrogen. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's why I think the women today, our bodies are so out of whack. We have heavy periods, we have abnormal periods to a point where we have to have a hysterectomy, if that's a choice, endometriosis, or you know any of those things. We don't, who wants to suffer? Do mm -hmm. you want to suffer? Mm -hmm. No, yeah. no. What is the average cycle? If you have a cycle, mm -hmm. what is your average length of your cycle? Do you know? Seven five, days. Seven days. Mm -hmm. Five days. Five days, mm -hmm. okay. Mine was eight. Eight, eight days, five. okay. Mm -hmm. Five. Five, okay. So three to five days is about normal. Anything beyond that is abnormal. Mm -hmm. I've had clients who come in and their cycle lasts a couple of weeks, and some of them have them twice in a month. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. And that's serious. Mm -hmm. I have one right now who is actually getting ready to go to surgery next week because he bleeds so heavily, so heavily. And then there's others who have have a period then at the time and they're trying to control it with birth control because that is the answer from Western medicine which is fine which is fine but they still depending on what uh, contraceptive that is that could be very harmful to the body over time right mm -hmm. you know um, because then it it changes everything and then when you so you don't have a cycle at all mm -hmm. you should wonder like where is that lining going how is that mm -hmm. process working mm -hmm. and then when you do have it when you off of that um, contraceptive, what happens then? Are you able to have children? How long does it take? Will you have healthy children? Mm -hmm. You know, because um, we want all our kids to have all 10 fingers and toes mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. no issues at all. But sometimes our contraceptives are um, come into play with some of that. Not only that, then our food. So you have a double whammy. So you got the food, you got the contraceptives. Water. You got the water, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. And so we just never think, because those are our daily, daily things mm -hmm. that we have to think about. And that's why I'm such an advocate for cleansing and detoxing. That's why we, we do that here. Mm -hmm. And then also to try to find the products that will support balancing the body, that will actually balance you out even once a month when you have mm -hmm. your cycle. And that's where getting to know Inspire Network come into play with that. Because they have a product, they have a solution that I feel that is in support of you trying to get your body back into alignment, they help support that. Because I feel that the vagina is the opening to everything, right? Mm -hmm. The V is mm -hmm. open to opening area, and it opens up everything here. And so you want something that, you want to keep that balance, you want to keep your pH balance in your body in the correct form as much as possible. And not only just when you have your cycle, but about the women who are going through menopause. Mm -hmm. Most women complain about heavy sweats mm -hmm. and, and, and can't sleep at night mm -hmm. and irritability. Their husband probably <laughs> <laughs> But they change. And even then, even when you think you're all done with it, you're still having issues. Mm -hmm. And we just want to help women with that. Um, even in, with incontinence. Because now that you're older, your muscles in your um, area is not as strong as they used to be. Mm -hmm. So you might laugh and you might not laugh because mm -hmm. you might have a little leakage there and we want to mm -hmm. give you some solutions on that too also. Okay? And so Inspire Network 
I actually allowed um, to me to learn about another part of it that I think is very important that I want to share with you today. And that is the sanitary pad that they have, which is called Cherish. It's called a Cherish pad. And there are actually three, four different four sizes. Five, four right. sizes. Mm -hmm. um, so it's available for women, even starting off very young. Mm -hmm. What is the youngest age of a young girl that you know has started her cycle? Eight. 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 I don't think anybody was eight years old. What are you going to say? Ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eight. eight. Mm -hmm. Nine. 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 Mm -hmm. Very young. Mm -hmm. Very young. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. I think about, that's someone you know. Now think about when you had your first cycle. Mm -hmm. How old were you? Fourteen. I was eleven. 14. Going on twelve. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Almost preteen. Mm -hmm. I was sixteen. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. That sounds right. Yeah. So you see that gap? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should have a big concern. We should yeah. be very concerned about that because goes back to the food, mm -hmm. go back to the water, Hormones. Go, all of those. Those are synthetic estrogen because the body doesn't know age. Mm -hmm. It only knows levels. Mm -hmm. It only knows levels. So if you're 12 and you're ready to start budding, mm -hmm. then that's just what it's going to do. But what speeds it up is that since we're eating estrogen and we're drinking estrogen, mm -hmm. then the transfer of estrogen mm -hmm. that brings you past that 50% mark that when you already reach your teenage years. So that means you have your cycle early. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes. Is it okay to interrupt? Yeah, yes, I'm yes, like, no, okay, okay. So, so the question is, how does the estrogen get in the food and, and what can we do to kind of manage what it is that we're taking in? Well, that is a very good question. So the food is a synthetic estrogen because of GMO, genetic modified organism. And that is the agriculture companies create our food. Oh. Now, we can grow our own food, but is that realistic for some people, like grow all our food? Mm -hmm. You know, we have community gardens, so I suggest people do community gardens and they share with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, you make tomatoes, mm -hmm. you grow the onions, you go, you know, mm -hmm. but there's still not enough food because not only is it in the, the produce, it's also in the meats. Right. Mm. So that's why your chicken legs look like turkey legs. Yeah, exactly. Like you're going, like you in bedrock with the <laughs> 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 Flintstone, they got the big turkey. But that, but that is, that is, and people gravitate to that. Right. Right. Because yeah. size and, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. oh, I can feed my whole family with this amount mm -hmm. of food. Right. Especially if you're on a tight budget. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Not wow. only that, it's in fast food, too. Oh, it's in fast food. It's definitely in fast Because it's cost effective for them. Yeah. Right. Like, great cost statement. Cost. Yeah. Great statement. Mm -hmm. It is. Because it's, it, it costs cheaper to feed your family on the dollar menu. Mm -hmm. Then it is to go buy groceries at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Say you have a family of four. Mm -hmm. You know, you can spend less than ten dollars and get everybody a dollar menu hamburger mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. fries. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And then you go spend ten dollars. What can you buy for ten dollars that <laughs> not with not anything without well, the peanut butter and ten dollars of peanut butter? Ten dollars of peanut butter. Not even. Not even. Not even. That's expensive. Huh? It's, it's, that's, yeah. real, that's our realistic mm -hmm. world that we're living in today. And so those are the questions. And then if you do want to go organic, mm -hmm. it might not always be organic. Just because it says it's organic, right. that doesn't mean it's organic. Right. So what do you mean by that? Well, the, mm -hmm. um, the powers to be, the food industry does play with words. So there are numbers on your produce. You have to, and we can go into another session with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you that's look at, session. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you, your produce have numbers on them, so they have a four, they have a five, they have a six and a nine, and each one of those numbers identify what type of food it is, whether it's GMO, whether it's organic, whether it's organic without, you know, free, you know, it just depends. Okay, so like cage free, free range, all of that has to do with. How it's eggs, raised. How it's raised and how the food is delivered to them. Or even our fish, if it's farm raised versus wild caught. Mm -hmm. Farm raised means that we as a scientist created your fish. So we gotta look at grain out there too and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. All those yeah, all those things. 
wild caught. But then even at the wild caught, if we yeah, don't, the pollution. The pollution. <laughs> yeah. So then you, you, you're still in that right. So That's what right. can I do for myself to help myself out to make it better for me? To be better while this food is contaminated, huh. right? Detox and cleanse. But that's the only way to me. So that was going to be my next question. Yes. Is so as a result of knowing that, you know, what is it that you recommend? I know what my own experience of that, but could you just share a little bit about what else? For well, the I options to clean yeah. out the system. So you have detoxing and cleansing to clean out the system. So colon hydrotherapy could be one way. Um, you know, we do ionic detox and I do localized things um, to pull toxicity out. I have saunas and steamers to pull so you can sweat. You have to get it outside of the body. Because mm -hmm. even though you might do an oral detox, it doesn't allow you to, you eliminate a little bit the urination or defecation, but it doesn't get out enough for the healing process to me, mm -hmm. from my perspective. So, go ahead. So does that mean that all of that, you know, you think about in like in your colon system, but that then is in your like bloodstream and in your other organs as well? It is well? in your other organs because especially your liver is the organ that metabolizes your food. So even though you chew and you swallow and go through your digestive system, it still has to flow through your liver to process your food. Okay, so it's going to touch, that's how you get nutrients. Mm -hmm. And absorption of nutrients happens in the small intestines first before the waste get into the large intestine. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you chew your food, mm -hmm. you swallow, it goes down the esophagus, get to the stomach, then that's when breakdown happens. You break your food down, boom, 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 break it down. Your ACL levels the enzymes break the food down so it can be smaller and it becomes time. I know I'm going to scientific mm -hmm. for it. So it, be, it looks like um, blended food. Right, okay. So okay. then it slides on into the small intestine. And because it's blended, like now absorption can play, take place. That's why it's very important for you to chew your food because if it's still large, mm -hmm. you don't get no nutrients in the small intestine if it's still whole. Mm. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why you take your time and chew, enjoy the flavors of your food, and swallow, get to the small intestines, mm -hmm. absorption take place. Mm -hmm. And then your small intestines is very long. Mm -hmm. You know, so your colon is five feet long, your small intestines is three times that. Mm -hmm. So that's here. Mm -hmm. So whenever you're like, oh, my stomach hurt. Mm -hmm. Your stomach is actually up here. Your small intestines here. Large intestines surround it. So upside down you, all of that squiggly mm -hmm. is right mm -hmm. here. So when the kids say, oh, my stomach hurts. Small intestines. Mm. Tummy up top. Wow. If you had to look at an anatomical. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Or if I was looking at doing some surgery, like mm -hmm. I used to. Mm -hmm. All right, flashbacks yeah. to physiology mm -hmm. class. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, unless you know how things yeah. work when you ask the digestion, or if you're regurgitating food, say you ate something, you have an allergic reaction. You know, I recently had a client who had an allergic reaction, face was swelling up very quickly, mm -hmm. um, throat was closing, and when she regurgitate, she, you know, it takes a long time. When it does that, it's in the small intestine. It's probably in the middle of the small intestine it's trying to work mm -hmm. its way back up. So that's why some people go both ways. Mm -hmm. yes. I know this sounds gross, but <laughs> just to just to get you yeah. a visual, mm -hmm. a realistic picture of why it's important to chew your food, mm -hmm. you know, um, thoroughly, and why it's in the bloodstream. So that's the reason why it's in the bloodstream because when you absorb your food, it goes into your bloodstream so you can get your nutrients, so you have energy and fuel for your cells. So is that is that why they say um, if you're trying to lose weight that you should eat? So that you get the nutrients? Yes. Okay. Because if you don't eat, um, you'll pass out. You don't have <laughs> anything to burn up. And your body can't work on the empty gas tank. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can't. It, it doesn't, that's why you get dizzy. Mm -hmm. You know, you feel faint. You know, that's why when, they're, when you're on my plan, even though you don't eat the carbs um, and the starches, you still have to eat something. Mm 
Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll still want you to do some kind of form of exercise. But if you do not eat, you feel lightheaded. Mm -hmm. And I need you to eat. You can't eat, eat to burn. Yes. Um, because it seems like almost everything um, has some level of toxicity. Toxic toxic toxicity. Mm -hmm. um, and then the solution is detox. Mm -hmm. Does that mean whatever caused the toxic level shouldn't be in t in ingested anymore? Um, like like mm -hmm. we were talking about fish, okay? So mm -hmm. you, you do the wild caught fish, you, but it may have pollutions or whatever, and then you it do a detox. Do you not eat fish anymore? I would suggest if you, so this is the dilemma that lots of people have. Okay. Do I eat or do I not eat? How do I survive and live in this life today, right? So some people are very strict. That's why they have different people who eat vegetarian, vegans, you know, all in that level. If you like to eat fish um, and you don't want the higher toxicity, like the mercury and things of that nature, you have to choose that food that you don't want. You don't want that, so don't consume it. But if you still consume it, then how do you rid of the toxicity level that's in the body? And that's where the cleansing and detoxing okay. come into play. And that's why it's good to cleanse the body or detox every three months, just like you get an oil change on your car, just mm -hmm. to clear the cells. And then that's also how I feel that we have cancer. So all this cancer is going on because of the toxicity level in food. So you almost can't go around it because the pharmaceutical industry and the food industry are major conglomerates in how we receive our food. And then they're already merging together. You know, without talking about those industries in a negative way, um, once they merge together, um, I know I'm from St. Louis, so Monsanto is the largest agricultural company in the world. Mm -hmm. And then Bear Medicine is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world, and they are merging together. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're going to grow your food, which has and then I'm gonna give you the medication and it's supposed to fix it, but it's toxic. It's institutionalized toxicity. It is a it is a trillion dollar company now. And so when you're talking about these companies, you're talking about their bottom dollar their bottom line is the dollar, not yeah. the people. It's not the people. It's you know, it's a, it, it's great to be a scientist. The mad scientists, we come in and we create these fantastic things, right? Look at roses. What color were roses when they first started out? Just the basic colors. Mm -hmm. Red, Red white, 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 yellow. And yellow. yellow. What color are they now? Any color, color you want. You, want. you can make them multicolor. The mm -hmm. You see the creativity in that? That's awesome. Mm -hmm. right. But then Thank we take the it to mm -hmm. food. Mm -hmm. We can re-engineer food. I can take a kiwi. I can take a banana. Put the banana kiwi together, put it back in the ground, and let it grow. And if it could be. Yeah. <laughs> it would, it would, the inside would be green. Yeah. The inside mm -hmm. would be green. Hmm. So that's how some of our foods are re-engineered. And we don't think about it like that. So like the orange, what's the little small orange it's called? Clementine's. The banana is not the original banana. It was not that long. The burrow bananas, which is mm -hmm. coming from, those are the original Plantains. bananas. Yes. Yes. Right. And it evolved into what we eat from dough. Mm -hmm. wow. So it's just so many like I don't want to go mm -hmm. But that's that's how yeah. food mm -hmm. is engineered and changed and evolved. Can, mm -hmm. can we talk a little bit about your autoimmune issues and how that is is that is the food that we're eating and the things that we're taking is that contributing? So to autoimmune auto means auto takes on flight on its own. So then they the body fights itself. Okay. So the cells look at the body itself as the enemy, as, and so it attacks itself. And so that can go into the form of like MS and things of that nature. And so um, if I, I think environmentally, mm -hmm. that has, that's where that comes into play. I think that turns on the cells to act differently um, because they all program and they can be programmed to say, oh, you're my neighbor, I'm gonna fight my neighbor. Mm -hmm. And then as they are aligned next to each other, they all do it. Mm -hmm. And they all fight each other. <clears throat> and then you start having these issues, your tightness of your muscles, you can't walk, mm -hmm. you know, things of like that. So your body starts changing because it fights blood cancer. Some of them fight mm -hmm. those are autoimmune. Some of them are autoimmune also. So how do you stop yourselves from fighting against each other? 
And, and some of the basic things is starts with diet. Diet should start with anything that's abnormal in the body. Okay. To me, the best thing is to get rid of things that causes mucus in the body, and that would be dairy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that cheese. Mm -hmm. Which is the antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> And mayonnaise is the people, cousin. Some people can't live without it. They, if I tell them on my weight loss program, I say they can't have mac and cheese. They, I'm, I'm doing mouth to mouth with them because they can't have <laughs> cheese. They want the mac and cheese. I got to take out my mac and cheese. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's, it's people attached to it the same way they are attached to sugar, mm -hmm. which is yeah. extremely addictive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's no coincidence that. I won't say the name of the company, but look at the long lines when you're going to get your donut and your coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, long mm -hmm. lines. Mm -hmm. oh. Kids all over the world love these certain kind of french fries. I don't care where you're from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They love these french fries. Sugar. Mm -hmm. So there's some things in there that triggers our brain mm -hmm. to want it all the time. Mm -hmm. And so when you're on the weight loss program, I'm going to detox from it because eventually you don't have the craving as much. Mm. And even those things that are sugar-free? Which ones? The, so it depends on sugar-free. Which ones are sugar-free? So like uh, stevia is okay, but do you get the sweet and low, the uh, aspartame? Those things are not very good because they definitely are toxic to the liver and kidney. So sweet and low, what's the, what's the other thing? Equal. Equal. Mm -hmm. All of those are in the diet sodas and stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. So you don't even lose weight with those anyway. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have the aftertaste. So stevia is recommended. Stevia is a good sugar choice. Sugar and the raw. Sugar and the raw is okay. I like date sugar. You have coconut sugar. Oh, what about, mm -hmm. there was something called xylitol. It's alcohol, but they're alcohol. Okay. Yeah. Well, I tried try that sometime ago, and I found that you know I got a side effect from that. Oh, how beautiful! Hey, you. Oh, thank you. Oh, 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 thank you. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, but it tasted like it was the closest thing to the taste of sugar. Okay, but then I got sick from it. So. Mm. What kind of reaction did you have? I had. I got um, diarrhea. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you know, so that was like, it tasted great. <laughs> <laughs> Just gave I, you tried, a reaction. I tried it a couple times, like it can't be that. Mm. <laughs> I thought I had found a solution, but that wasn't it. Yeah. So are, are the sugars that you named, the stevia, the date, coconut, sugar, and the raw, is there one that's better than the other? Um, no, it, I think it's go for your taste. Mm. And then each one tastes different in different things. Mm. So I know we use the regular cane sugar as a universal sugar for almost everything, for mm. baking and mm. sweetening all our things. Um, even, what's another one, stevia? Um, Trudia. Splenda. Splenda, Splenda, Stevia? No, Splenda, Splenda is that's, that's artificial. Trudia. Yeah. Trudia. Trudia. Trudia is a blend. Okay. Yeah. Stevia and like the... Oh, the xylitol. The xylitol. Yeah. Mm. No wonder. But xylitol wasn't on your list. Right, no, okay. It, okay. and so they're just trying to give you something that um, monk sugar, okay. monk fruit mm -hmm. sugar. Mm -hmm. So how yeah, does it's okay? How so it's just your personal preferences for its taste. taste. Okay. I personally like date sugar mm -hmm. and coconut sugar. It just depends on what I'm. I didn't cooking. know there was a such a thing. I didn't. Which one? Date Either date one. Sugar. <laughs> date sugar. Date nor date coconut. Sugar. <laughs> yeah, coconut sugar gives you the look. A regular cane sugar, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Test, you know, so Amazing. that's a pretty good. Mm -hmm. You can get that at the health food store. Mm -hmm. So those are good. So how does like I'm sorry, go ahead. Mm -hmm. This might be a tangent, but how does um honey and agave mm -hmm. fit into oh, that? Oh yeah, yeah, agave. Yeah. Yeah. I use a lot of honey. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> how does that? Well, work? no, no, not not now. Not now. <laughs> Not this nine. is Desiree, guys. I saw her doing that. She's on the plan. No, no, no. I saw that face. Y'all didn't hear that. I don't know. 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 Does it dissolve quickly? No. Nope. Yeah. It stays. Mm -hmm. So that's how your body 
digest mm. it. It takes some time to break it mm. down. That's your stomach trying to break it down. Oh, wow. And, and it doesn't break it down very quickly. Mm. So just like we eat regular sugar, you pour it in your cup and it's cold, it takes a long time for it to break down. So that's how your body opens. Yes. Yes. Got it. Mm-hmm. Wow. What I miss. You're doing good. You came just in time. Good, because you said you started at 2 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> so what I miss. We have some food and stuff. Oh, I'll get it. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so those things. So those things are the reasons why I help you understand how they, your body digests it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So those sugars, even though that's a good sugar, a good a sweetener, honey, agave. Okay. On the plant, it's not good because it takes so long for it to digest, mm-hmm. and then it okay. spikes up your insulin. You know, but uh, the other they do pretty fine mm-hmm. naturally. So I would prefer like when you're off the plant, you have something that's a sweetener, honey, agave will be a good choice. Mm-hmm. Okay. So for the folks that you know might be watching this mm-hmm. later and don't know what the plan is, <laughs> <laughs> so the weight loss, the body wisdom. Um, weight management plan, mm-hmm. which is uh, it, it is an opportunity so that the body can lose weight, and I actually use your DNA to help guide me. I don't have to use the DNA, but it, it helps to make it more customized towards you. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are foods that are actually eliminated um, so that your body can recover. So mm-hmm. I'm looking at a lot of things: your adrenals, your kidneys, your liver, your digestive system. Mm-hmm. Um, and how your body works into healing those, work in conjunction with that. Then if you have other ailments like blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, cirrhosis of the liver, um, and even other ailments that you might not think that are connected with it, you know, people come in with all types of layers of things. So diet should be the first thing you do as far as when you want to recover Mm -hmm. from any ailment, from my perspective. And so with that, I can regulate that, clean up the blood, pull out some of the proteins out of the blood system, and then it, then there it becomes customized after that. What I need to do to help your body respond. And you're actually drinking water that is infused, um, and then you have a specialized diet that actually eliminates sugars, carbs, and starches for a few months. <coughs> <laughs> but if, but if you have if you have food that you like, so for instance, like if you like noodles, spaghetti noodles, mm-hmm. right? There is a swap, right? Yeah, that is, mm-hmm. that is. Mm-hmm. Man, they were satisfied too. Mm-hmm. So there's Veggie a swap. Noodles does it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I've tried those. I've tried what those did you think well. about? Yeah, oh, I, thought okay. I thought it was delicious. I thought it was delicious. Um. You know, uh, I'm still able to season my food, and right. that's really for me. It's about the taste, yes. mm. and then and I kind of get over it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, all the other stuff. Well, because it's different. Most of the time. Well, you can have all the seasons. The seed, because I want you to have flavor in your food. It's not supposed to be boring. Mm-hmm. You know, most people get on a diet and they see green and they're running because they mm-hmm. feel like it's going to taste mm-hmm. like bark and it's just going to taste like a tree mm-hmm. and it's like it's awful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who's going to stick? Who's going to be committed to that? Mm-hmm. You know, so you can eat regular foods. You can have your your proteins, which is any meat that you like. I just want you to separate the oil from it. Mm-hmm. The oil is what causes the issue. Mm-hmm. Okay, the starches, the carbs, actually turns into a sugar. Mm-hmm. So the sugar is the issue. Mm-hmm. You know, Got so it. if I'm if I'm if you're a diabetic, I want to help your insulin levels regulate better. Mm-hmm. From method to your madness, girl. It, it is. Science. It's yeah. science. And so not only that, you lose inches mm-hmm. and you lose your pounds. Mm-hmm. So you're actually getting a double whammy all at the same time. Mm-hmm. So even those times where you might feel like you want a little um, treat, mm-hmm. your inches don't go so quickly. Mm-hmm. You might feel a little bit different than the scale, but you you still mm-hmm. lose your weight in a healthy form. Mm-hmm. So you retract, your skin is retract, you don't have any hanging skin mm-hmm. in most diets. You know, it's not a liquid diet because I want you to eat. Mm-hmm. Because once you're off the plane, you should still be able to eat normal foods. 
-hmm. You're just going to, in small increments, add back in the other sources. And hopefully just eat those in moderation. Mm -hmm. Because as you're going to find out that as you eat them more, your pains and aches are going to come back. Mm -hmm. And it's because of those things. So. Yes. Um. How do you connect that, like as a woman, it's like, it just seems like everything is interconnected. And, um, you know, we, in my experience, we think about weight loss first. It's like, if it's about weight loss, you know, it's like uh, the second ever. coming of the Savior, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, or whatever you believe, the universe mm -hmm. is, you know, mm -hmm. descending upon us with mm -hmm. happiness. Uh, <laughs> I'm keeping it broad. Uh, um, but how does that tie into, you know, kind of the, the whole self-wellness, you know, reproductively and, and, and you know, the tie-in um, mentally? So I don't think of weight gain as because someone eats at a table and just eats all of this food. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's because they don't eat enough food. Sometimes it is because of triggers. Weight gain could also be because of the ailments that you have and the, the medication you're on can cause you to swell and fix the body. Do those type of things. Allergies, mm -hmm. definitely because of the swelling, the mucus build up in the body. And then um, environmental toxicity. And then mental health, the traumas in life. Some people have mm -hmm. childhood traumas uh, from um, you know rape, um, abuse, all those things to me have a lot to do with it. That's why I have the mental health part in it also because then it uncovers. It usually comes out later for some for some women mm -hmm. um, that there's a, another issue, and that's why we do the journaling or even like artwork. Those those are the things mm -hmm. that help bring it out. So that once you release, when you like totally let go, everything can release. Because right. when you it's the fight or flight. And that, that I'm calling it scientific again. So it's fight or flight. So you you hold on to everything, just like when you watch a movie. And it's scary. What's the first thing that you feel? Yeah. Yeah. Anxious test. Yeah. So it's but what organ do you feel? Your stomach. Your, your stomach. Belly. Yeah. Your belly. stomach first thing that jumps. So is that mm -hmm. the cortisol? Is that the way your body is releasing? So cortisol would be more so in your adrenals. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then that can help you. That would. That would. Does it, Does that contribute to weight gain? Stress. Yes. Stress of life. Mm -hmm. Yes. So cortisol. When your cortisol levels are totally up. When they call it adrenal fatigue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I and I do. I, I would call it the adrenal belly. Sometimes mm -hmm. you see um, the belly the pain, pain. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. that's adrenal. Oh. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. But that's not scientific. That's just my. That's mm -hmm. how I connect it when I'm gotcha. looking at some stuff. Mm -hmm. When I'm when I have to take your pictures and things. That's that's what mm -hmm. I'm studying. I'm studying your outer body and also your inner body. So when I'm making my decisions. What does it look like? Because mm -hmm. all of that makes a difference of how your skin is going to retract better. Mm -hmm. yeah. So without surgery, because so you've seen people who have the surgery, mm -hmm. and then after the surgery, they have to have another surgery to retract their skin, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so I don't, I don't, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not a fan of surgery. Me mm -hmm. either. You know. Because it changes a lot of stuff. Even if you get the band, it changes a lot of stuff. Because you restricted all your enzymes, which you need, all your iron, which you need. And those are what people are having difficulties with. Mm -hmm. So if you just be patient with yourself and allow your, mm -hmm. to change your diet just a little bit, you can retract, we can retract the skin by doing different techniques. Mm -hmm. And it'll come up and you, you don't have that hankiness. Mm -hmm. um, the only skin that takes longer is the arm. Mm -hmm. You know, we do resistance band training because you can't lift any weights. So you can do resistance band training and it should help you. And then you can't twirl and dance. Why is it that the flags are the, mm -hmm. no matter what you wings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate that. <laughs> well, those are where the fat deposit goes. And then some people only gain weight. You see, some people gain weight in different sections. Right. Mm -hmm. Some people have the um, pear shape, they only gain weight hips down. Right. Mm -hmm. Then there's people who, like myself, who yeah, are like top me, height. Me, I'm you just top top yeah, I'm out we gain more weight across the yeah. back of the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And then another thing that I look at for different ailments is when people grow the, the hump, hump. The yeah. hump on the back of the, you know, mm -hmm. they grow there. Um, also, top heavy, we, we grow it here. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on the body. We had everything. <laughs> I don't know what body that is. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what you get? <laughs> you guys are so great. But it does help with all of that, and so you can kind of contour it to get the body that you that you want. You can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and that's why people are really successful on the program because it is customized that way, so it can help. Um, and then you start the first place you start losing weight when you do is around your neck and everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm loving that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so and then weight gain also then contribute to women health issues. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are of a certain size or if you're too small, so even bodybuilders, if they mm -hmm. get too small, too thin, and they don't have enough, they can also damage their reproductive system also. Mm -hmm. So it's that double-edged sword. You know, we, uh, we were built to have some fat. We can't totally eliminate all the fat, and if you do, you have those issues with the fibroids and stuff like that for, for the smaller women. Mm -hmm. So they have those issues and then, and then sometimes they even attach to your colon wall. Mm -hmm. The fibroids or they grow off the, the um, whether it's the uterus or the ovary and then they attach and they fuse and they gotta go in and try to. Mm. Well, what is that, what's an abrasion? Ablation. 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 Oh, oblation. Ablation. Yes. Someone told me that. Yes. So basically, what it is is that um, it's a surgery, and they um, burn the uterine wall, uh -huh. so you don't have your period anymore. More, because that's where the period. Oh, yeah. Is it all? Is it like the yeah. blood? Yeah. Is it right. like, I, I'm not uh, the doctor, so but right. is it like the blood? The, I guess the blood vessels. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they basically burn it, and you don't have a period anymore. So your uterus, again, that be right. Uh -huh. It sheds every month, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just like if they did, you took a lighter and you just burn it. So, burn it. so, so it can't so it doesn't. So, the, so it doesn't so, shed No, blood anymore. is going in, so it doesn't develop a lining, so then it doesn't shed. Is that what it is? Right, it doesn't shed the lining anymore, right? Yeah. Well, what is the thing where you, what, I thought that was when you, what is the surgery where they go in and they explode the fibroids? But that's not what an ablation is? No. Which, no. They explode the I mean, like, they, they choke. I thought that, because someone was saying that's not a good surgery to get because if there happens to be cancer cells in there, then you're shooting them okay. in different I have to say, organs. I don't know about okay. that. All right, okay. I wouldn't want to. Okay. No, no, you might not, <laughs> but I don't know about this. Well, they I have two different ways that they do it, the ablation. Yeah. They can do it with boiling, sterile, hot water. They do it that way. And then they do it through electrolysis as well. Yeah, I think. The Those laser. Are the, the laser, thank you. Mm -hmm. And they do it through that. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one I got, but he showed me the before and the after. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want the hot boiling water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's a real the surgery, so they put you the, yeah. the, they the laser do it as is outpatient. more accurate, the more right. precise. Right. Precise. With the it's outcome. not so fluidy. Mm -hmm. So right. like if you have like really bad periods, mm -hmm. which I did, mm -hmm. that it helped me. Yeah. yeah. And you still get symptoms, you just don't bleed. You might get some spotting, but you don't get, and you might feel a little like you know it's that time, but you won't won't be anything. Because the close. brain again doesn't know <laughs> that has happened. It only knows what it's supposed to signal. So even if she had her uterus removed, your brain was still yeah. signal yeah. down there as if you're having because he doesn't know. Yeah, from my perspective. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. So so that's the burning of the the inner lining. Then mm -hmm. the endometriosis when the lining grows out and all over the fallopian tubes and stuff oh, like wow. that. Yeah. That causes, so you, you have period, you don't have a period because the egg cannot come out and do its thing, but it's bloating and they can't have children, and it's just a lot it's of It's very things. painful. Yeah, yeah, very painful. And is there some, is there a link between the estrogen intake of our bodies that we take, the, the, the synthetic, I guess, estrogen mm -hmm. and the, the increase? I think in there's a connection, there's a link with that and the environmental yeah. toxicity. So yes. Consuming synthetic estrogens because it the body only knows what it should do So what happens is if it's a synthetic estrogen it's like a puzzle piece It's just shaped like it's supposed but it's not it. Mm -hmm. It's a charlatan And you know, all it needs to do is lock in on the receptor sites and that's it and it'll just mimic That's why it mimics it. Mm -hmm. It's just not and so it causes the dysfunction Mm -hmm. of the body yeah. of the body mm -hmm. and it's doing something else and all the body knows as well, you know it's, it's kind of checked out like estrogen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like estrogen. It looks like, it like estrogen, estrogen, but yeah. it's not estrogen. Yeah. 
Um, That's why the young girls start having their certain, right. you know, they look yeah. they mm-hmm. more voluptuous, yeah. very yeah. young. Yeah, that's why I kept saying it was in the middle. Or in certain yeah. French fries. <laughs> <laughs> or in the animal kingdom, what they see is the animal switch roles. Mm. Wow. That could be my problem. <laughs> <laughs> the animal switch roles. Like the male and the female. Oh, yeah. really? Because the, the estrogen makes more dominance. Mm. The estrogen makes dominance. So, the, so mm. in the alligator, they see that the alligator, the, the female usually sits on the edge. She doesn't. Mm. The male does. Oh. And that's not supposed to be. Mm-hmm. So if you really want to see great change and how it, things out in the environment affects us, look at all the wildlife that lives in the water. Mm. Mm. Wow. Because all of our stuff is going into the water. Right? And they live in it. They live in it. Yeah. Oh. Detroit. Wow. So and we, other places, Delaware. We don't even have to go that far. Around no, down the court. When down I the first street. moved here, my first research project, we were looking at the teeth of. Yeah. Delaware people, the teeth. They don't have the front of the teeth. Really? Yes. A lot of them. And so, mm. you know. See, that's why it's just below the canal thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. That's where the toxicity is. So it's, it's, it's a lot of dumping. dumping. It's a lot of dumping here. The okay. toxic, they, it was in the newspaper a couple of months ago, which I showed you guys. Yep. Mm-hmm. One. The synthetic estrogen that's in it. And they put it in the newspaper. They didn't say it on the news. Mm-hmm. They don't want a lot of trouble from the people in the community. But it's there, and it is dumping, and we're drinking it, and that's why cancer is so prolific here in Delaware. Mm. So, the breast cancer and all that other stuff. Yeah. So, how do we get from that? How do you get from protect it? Protect yourself from yeah. it. Yeah. How, you can't, because it's coming out of what you can do. You can't. You can't protect. So, you can get filters in your house if you if you can afford that. Mm-hmm. Um, Reverse yeah, osmosis, osmosis is really good. Or you can get the water. The bottle of water that says reverse osmosis. Or it says R-O. Mm-hmm. R-O, that's what that is. Reverse osmosis. Mm-hmm. That's not it. <laughs> it's not it? Mm. Okay. Okay. And don't just only consume deionized water, because that's not good. Because there's no ions in there. Your body deionized. What kind of water? Deionized. deionized. Don't just only consume. Like, people say, okay, I'll get deionized water. We use deionized water because it's the cleanest water. Is that like distilled water? Distilled water, yeah. So your body works with communicating with each other. If you don't have any ions, mm. then, you know. Mm. Alkaline water is good, though. Yes, alkaline, alkaline water. water. Yes, yeah, definitely alkaline water. So when you're buying bottled water, look for the RO? RO or purified water. Like this, I think this one has to be that this bottle water. Tell me. <laughs> I'm writing that down. So read the labels. This is spring water. This is spring water, so it's not reverse. So a lot of female issues, because I guess we're more sensitive and prone to things, like because of environmental, what's going on. I think so, because of the estrogen and everything. Estrogen Mm -hmm. is in everything. When you say everything, meaning? Everything. The meat, the water. Yeah. Vegetables, fruit. Mm -hmm. Because of the GMO, genetic. So anything seedless. Yeah, see this watermelon. Yes. Or cotton candy grapes. Yes. Absolutely, and everybody yeah. loves the cotton. I don't do it. I, I already know. I taste them. They're good. But uh, they are good. But the plan. I ain't doing it. <laughs> My coworkers at one of them, they were like, "Oh, I taste these grapes," and mm-hmm. you know, they do it. I would. I was like, "What? This tastes like cotton candy." And, but they are made in a lab, just yeah. the same. Yeah. We talked about the flowers. Yeah. Somebody had a that? creative idea. I mean, it's amazing to see that, but it's not amazing for our bodies to consume. Right. Mm. So everything that looks good. Ain't good. <laughs> or, or tastes good. Or tastes good. Ain't good for you. So let's talk about solutions. Okay. So um, solutions for women health issues. So if you're having a heavy period um, or dysfunctions like endometriosis or fibroids and things of that nature, um, I like Inspire, well, Inspire Network because they do have a sanitary pad that actually helps with trying to combat some of that. Because um, they have um, put in a um, ion strip in the formation of the pad. So you have two pads. We are used to, you know, I won't name the other pads, but you know, they have different layers and so does um, Inspire Wellness pads, the Cherish pads. But what makes this one so unique is two things. Um, The ion strip and the absorbency um, portion of this pad. So it is 
mimicking or the same as the diapers that the babies wear mm -hmm. and when they urinate how it stays together still keeps the baby dry okay. it has that same capability mm -hmm. okay. and so therefore the ion still help keeps the pH balanced and then if there's any toxicity level it helps with that helping you bring that down also Wow. versus the other pads may have you know it's sitting on dyes it's bleached um, it's Made out of recycled recycle uh, stuff. It mm -hmm. was some, I don't know if you know that, but someone showed me a, a from a YouTube or something. Okay. But We're the, actually going, going to do, do that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to see that. You're mm -hmm. going to see how it works for the body. Okay. It's going to benefit and put the pH and everything in order for mm -hmm. you. So long term, not just for your cycle. So if, you, if you're in the menopause stage mm -hmm. or you don't have your your um, uterus or ovaries, you can still benefit from using it because it'll still help balance out. Or if you have issues with incontinence, it's still an option for those women also. Mm -hmm. Will it help with fibroids? It, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, we can't make medical claims about the pads, but what we've known based on what can happen with the negative ions and the nano silver, and what happens in your body with the fibroids, there are a lot of women who are finding great relief mm -hmm. from the heavy periods. Mm -hmm. um, and even as you talk about the estrogen levels, mm -hmm. which feed a fibroid, um, it can be helpful in that area as well. So mm -hmm. it helps it for for growing. preventing for growing. I'll say it from a scientific point of view. So if you have fibroids, usually when my clients come in, they have fibroids. I put them on a, a women's health program. Mm -hmm. So the, the pads are involved. I have another product that's involved to help pull the detox from the female because I have fibroids, but I don't have a period because I have the ovulation. Right. Mm -hmm. So, well, we don't want it to continue to grow. And how right. it grows is because through the bloodstream, whoever right. asked the question. So that mm -hmm. feeds into it. So you always want to keep your blood clean, right. reduce of uh, the proteins mm -hmm. and all of that. So that's why I always talk about blood cleansing all the mm -hmm. time because that's actually what feeds it. Mm -hmm. So the pad, the iron strip with the nano, nano silver, what it does, it eats up all bacteria. It is just the most awesome. Mm -hmm. It does some great things for healing, mm -hmm. and so and because that is a mucous membrane, mm -hmm. absorbency factor is really good, and mm -hmm. that's how you can let mm -hmm. things go. Yeah. So nano silver is is an amazing mm -hmm. um, product to do because it has in order for them to make that scientifically, it has to be made under UV light at this very specified level. Mm -hmm. And when they make it there, that's how they can kill bacteria at that, that UV level. Mm -hmm. wow. it, 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 oh, what I was going to say earlier was, it's just these two black men or something that created or came up with a pad. Mm -hmm. Because they said what we use, like the other product, I won't say no name, mm -hmm. is basically a trash bag to mm -hmm. recycle. And that's why women wonder why they're having all these issues that they, yeah. what you're saying. And you're sitting on that the for hours. And you're sitting on that. I said, Father... That's why you say you take care of the babies and the mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So think of this. Look at how many years. All these years. Years, just, years. My years mom and, and, and using tampon. Mm -hmm. Well, thank God I didn't use tampon. I ain't like tampon. But still is. Right. Yes. <laughs> right, 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 right. So how old were you starting your cycle? Just think of that. Oh, wow. And then look. If you how don't many? have a cycle now, then oh. look at the age. Look. That's how many that's years you've been sitting on. Then yeah. look how many hours in a day. Mm. Once a month. That was terrible. So at least what? And they said they make it from over 15,000 yeah, exposures over the course of your lifetime. Yeah. 15,000 exposures. So it's by God's grace. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, it is. And yeah. we don't have these conversations. And we right. need to take care of because there are a lot of women who have the... We might talk about breast cancer, but we don't talk, talk about... about yeah. And maybe yeah. ovarian cancer yeah. has yeah. stemmed yeah. from that, but they're not saying. Mm -hmm. They well, won't say. The same as when... They not... Maybe that's The other company, they had the baby pouch. Mm, the towel, yeah. yeah. I stopped putting powder down there. So well, how long has that been a household right. thing? Right. And, mm -hmm. and Especially in the black community. Yeah. Especially in the summer. I used to drink yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I'm hot. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I so don't use powder now. Not like that. Small numbers of increments build over time. Mm. Right. Mm. So if they had that and you would detox and you would mm. kind of regulate your body back into it. That's why I'm such a strong advocate of cleansing and detox. That's the only way to keep your balance Back. That's how you keep things away from getting out of hand. Okay. Well, since yeah. we had that call, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. When you speak about the, oh, the, the ions um, like that are included in the sanitary napkins, mm -hmm. um, 
you said our bodies need the iron. Does everybody's body need the same number or quantity? I don't know how it's made. Because we're all different height and weight. Okay. Just like the amount of water we drink is different because of height and weight. Okay. All mm -hmm. of that is, is geared off of that. Okay. But to that question is that there's never a risk of having too many negative ions because your body doesn't... Go ahead. The, the body wouldn't absorb what it doesn't need, right? Is that correct? No, it can absorb what it doesn't need. It just don't use it. Yeah, right, it it eliminates it. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So right. it's not harmful mm -hmm. if it absorbs what it doesn't need. It depends yeah. on what the product is. But it's for that, it's not. Negative ions, not. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. There's so a good. scientist for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it does really well. Mm -hmm. It helps keep you balanced. You want a good body pH. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. You want to have a good... You have a feminine pH, you have a blood pH, you have a saliva pH. Every, you know, you have all these different pHs. Yeah. And so if you keep it at a good level, and sometimes in a very small range, okay. you're good. So is there a certain, you know, like we use all kind of lotions and potions. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to cleansing, is there a certain soaps or natural soaps or something we should only use down there? Yeah, well, I wouldn't oh, use a lot of perfume soaps soap. anyway, because that changes the pH anyway. Mm -hmm. um, even those feminine products, That's I don't funny. use those feminine products. You know, douches. Is, I, you know, if you're going to flush the, the yoni, I would do water. And there are some herbs, you know, you do vaginal steams and stuff now and then, oh, which is really? really good. Yeah, that's oh. really good. Can't do it every day. No, I ain't never heard and, of it. And I'm not like, what? <laughs> okay. Can't, you know, there's, it's called a yoni steam. You can do those type of things. And that helps keep the wound balanced. Okay. Um, but you can't do it all. You know, some people have an aroma that they're trying to get rid of. Mm -hmm. And they they probably overuse their mm -hmm. female products. Mm -hmm. And it just took their balance totally off and they can't get it back. Mm -hmm. Or they might have candida, which is yeast, mm -hmm. which could be a digestive issue mm -hmm. along with the uh, with, uh, ovarian issue mm -hmm. or vagina issue. Okay. And some, some people don't look at those two as connections, but they should. So there are actually studies when it, um, and I just looked at this, I just yeah. talked about this um, a couple weeks ago. Um, there are studies that have been taken in terms of the actual um, feminine hygiene products in general, mm -hmm. okay? And what's included in them, um, you know, the studies are finding it's n not necessarily something that you should be using. Mm -hmm. There's this, uh, and, and it's just a site that I like to go to. Mm -hmm. It's called womensvoices.org. Um, it talks about, um, they do different studies and have different programs on the, um, you know, different things that affect women and toxicity is among, um, you know, one of the particular, um, um, I guess, things that they're looking at. Mm -hmm. Womensvoices.org, they've done some really good studies and, mm -hmm. and give you some ideas in terms of solutions mm -hmm. um, and the ways that you can participate. I mean, from your, um, the products you use at home. Um, to clean your cleaning products, um, the products that you use in your hair or how you get your nails done there's an impact could be an impact not only on the people that are using it but the people who are giving you the service mm -hmm. as well. And Jeanette, what were the other two? It was the fragrance, your perfume, right? And, and um, oh. I just put on um, <laughs> philosophy <laughs> grace. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Come on. We need an option. Grace up today. <laughs> but it's just a learning process, and that's why detoxing and cleansing come into play. So you, you have these things incorporated daily or monthly. You just keep you just taking out what needs to be taken out. <sighs> And then you just keep it balanced instead of sitting on the bleach and stuff all, all the time, you know, mm -hmm. once a month. And, and just, you have to listen to the other women who suffered. We mm -hmm. have to learn from their suffering mm -hmm. to teach the next generation because you have That's girls it. and, you know. Mm -hmm. And so we want to save the one. We want to save the yoni. We want to yeah. keep it happy mm -hmm. because it don't just stop because we stop bleeding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we have little paws and all mm -hmm. this. So we have to keep it healthy. Mm -hmm. So okay. so the end of that, we're going to look at um, how the the difference between the two pads. So we do have a cherished pad, and then we have a competitor's pad, and you, we'll show you the difference in each layer so you can understand the science of how it's being actually manufactured. Okay? okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
on the front there. Put it in low power mode. Yeah. That works. That works. Okay. And okay. Do you want to bring it closer? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. For the demo. For the demo. Hi ladies, my name is Jeanette Beasley. I'm a community awareness ambassador with um, the Inspire Network and the Now We Know uh, program. I think that's good campaign. Let me slide these. Hi y'all. Okay, yeah, that works for me so I can see. Make sure y'all can see. Um, so I'm a community, community awareness ambassador and I'm going to show you a demo of the traditional store brand pad versus our cherished sanitary napkin. Um, the first thing that I do want to point out, and I don't know if you ladies ever even thought about this, but you know the pads that we're buying from the store, they're already open. Mm -hmm. They, what happens? We put this in our purse or mm -hmm. our book bag. We oh, get yeah. cookie crumbs, mm -hmm. pennies, <laughs> yes. pins. We got to Let's beat it out beat before out. we can yeah. use it. Yes, yeah. yeah. we know, yeah. we know. Yeah. And in the in the medical field, this would not be considered a sanitary That's product right. because That's it's right. open. Right. They right. would not use this if you That's were to right. go to the hospital or doctor's office because it's open. But the reason that this is actually has um, openings here is because of the type of adhesive that they use to adhere their pad to this packaging. It's a construction grade adhesive, so they cannot seal it tightly or completely. If they did, it would actually uh, puff up the gaseous fumes would puff up and it would actually implode. So they can't seal it. Fumes from the adhesives, exactly. Wow. Um, I'm gonna take this here and I'm gonna place it in this tray. Oh, and so you guys can see this is supposed to be a nine hour product, okay? Mm -hmm. Remember that mm -hmm. it's supposed to be a nine hour product. Oh, <laughs> Now with our cherry sanitary napkin, I'm gonna get in here and this is sealed completely around. See that? There are no openings. You guys see, sealed completely. And that is because we use a uh, plant-based adhesive to seal our product to the back of our packaging. It's a, a plant-based adhesive. in this tray. And the first thing I um, want to show you is the absorbency test. So we're going to put these pads to the test and see which one can hold um, the most amount of liquids. Okay. So this is our traditional store brand pad and this is the cherished sanitary napkins. Now we do not name names nor do we make medical claims. So I'm putting that disclaimer out there now. Okay. Now, gynecologists have told us that a woman will exude between 15 and 50 milliliters of water. Thank you. Oh, that's my Wait a minute, magical elixir. Oh, that is? Oh, okay. I want to use that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour 50 milliliters of liquid into each one of the sanitary napkins so we can see which one is going to be the most absorbent. Handy dandy orange here. And you can verify that that's 50. <laughs> that's 50. 50. Okay. And with our cherished sanitary napkin, um, as LaDonna was saying, it does have an absorbency system that's made of a polymer, which is similar to what's in a baby diaper. Okay. And our traditional store brand pad is actually made with wood fibers and recycled papers. That's 50. Mm -hmm. That's 50. Mm -hmm. This um, pad, the store papers. brand pad, <laughs> yes, it goes through a six to eight step bleaching process to make the wood fibers and recycled papers look white. The byproduct of that is a chemical called dioxin. Okay? Mm -hmm. Dioxin is 10 times more lethal than cyanide. We've got to wear these things for 40 plus years, right? Mm. Yes, and now we're seeing an increase in many feminine health concerns. Mm. So I'm going to take a regular old red napkin and push you right up for my answer for your health. Yes, ma'am. We're going to take and place a napkin over each one of the pads, and I just want you to take and press down. Keep 
go? <laughs> no, that's fine here. You can wipe your hand on that one. Thank you. And of course, this is what happens. It's completely whacked. That's why we have to change so often, right? And remember, this was a nine-hour product. It didn't last nine minutes, let alone nine hours, did it? Not at all. Our cherished sanitary napkin. Take a napkin and press down. In your purse. Oh, wow. <laughs> you pressing? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that thing oh is completely oh, dry. Oh, yeah, you want to do it? Oh, you want, okay, come oh, on. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 choose Cherish because it's going to keep you dry and wow. comfortable. Mm. Now I'm going to um, actually show you what's in your pad. So we're going to dissect the pads. I don't know if any of you ladies have actually ever done that before, but we're going to take it apart and show you. It does it automatically because it falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I hadn't heard that one, so it falls apart. It, it, I mean, it does. It, Dissects itself automatically. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm just gonna cut the ends off of the pad, and I'm going to take apart the traditional pad that we're buying from our stores first, our store brand pad, so I can tell you about this product. So the first layer of our traditional pad that we're buying from the stores is actually made with a synthetic material, like a plastic or a rayon. I'm gonna pass this around and I want you to tell me if that is dry or if that's wet. It's wet? What does it feel like? It feels like, um, it feels like yeah. plastic to me. Okay. It's like that thin. A trash bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a plastic. Mm -hmm. Feels like that. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not quite what you want mm -hmm. in that area. Right, not at all. I like to, um, the term that I use is abrasive. Like a grater. It's like mm -hmm. where you grate vegetables. Oh, like it's exfoliating. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. well, I wonder what your, your vagina is like. It's soft as a petal. Mm. Inside. Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, keep it PG. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reason why a lot of us get rashes and irritations because it is abrasive and it's rubbing up yes. against the skin. Mm -hmm. That's no good for us. And yeah, and it stays wet. Mm -hmm. The next layer in the uh, traditional store brand pad is what they call their leak guard protection. Some of them call it their dry weave. But what oh, does that yeah. look like? Plastic. It looks like plastic. Looks like what color blue. is that? Blue. Blue. How do they get it blue? They dye it. They dye it. We should mm -hmm. not have dye in our bloodstreams. Because mm -hmm. think about it. We stand up, sit down all day long. So where do you think those fluids and the dye that comes mm -hmm. loose is going? Right back up. Mm -hmm. Really? Reverse percolation. Reverse percolation is what that is called. The next layer in our traditional store brand pad is usually the um, wood fibers and recycled papers that they take through the bleaching process. So I have two cups here, and hopefully it looks like, look like one has more than the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they need which help they could get. One has less, one has more, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to take the... Um, absorbency system of our traditional pad and put it in the cup that has the least amount of water and we're going to see what it does. What are we expecting it to do? To draw it up. Okay. It's already wet. The last layer, let me see if I can get it up, of our um, traditional store brand pad yeah, it's really stuck to this. That's that construction grade adhesive I was telling you guys about. Right. But here, let me just, I'll get up part of it. But this is nothing more than a plastic bag. So you're not breathing. Exactly. There's no breathability in this material. Mm -hmm. 
I can take it and it'll stretch. They actually use the equivalent of four trash bags mm -hmm. to make each layer of the so page. So it's like for those nine hours, you cook it. you're cooking. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You got your blood, your sweat, your urine mm -hmm. sitting on top mm -hmm. of that trash bag. What's that the perfect breeding ground for? Bacteria. Bacteria. Mm -hmm. That's why many ladies end up with yeast infections, UTIs, and things when using mm -hmm. their um, feminine napkins. Our uh, chair is sanitary napkin now. I'm take that apart and show you the different layers in this. So the first layer of our chair sanitary napkin is made with uh, soft cotton. And what do you notice about this? It's holes. porous. It has mm -hmm. holes well, in it. It was porous, but you knew it was. What, like, what does that feel like? Mm -hmm. That feels like that's like cotton. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. fabric. It feels so like cotton. Soft. That's soft. That's soft. Absolutely. Yeah. And is it dry or wet? Dry. It's dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and for the camera, I'm going to show you guys. You see those fibers? Oh, that's that's nice. cotton. cotton yeah. mm -hmm. The next layer in our cherished sanitary napkin is the negative ion strip, or as we call it, this is the magic strip that's in each one of the pads. And as LaDonna explained, it is infused with negative ions, nano silver, and far infrared. Um, and negative ions, they appear naturally in nature. You know, they're like the beach or a waterfall, anywhere where there's free falling water. They call them vitamins of the air. But what they can help us with is with pain and inflammation. Mm. So ladies that use Cherish actually state they have a reduction in menstrual cramps. Um, the nano silver helps kill the bacteria and the odors. So not only are ladies drier, they're fresher mm -hmm. when using Cherish. Mm. And... Um, this strip helps with balancing pH and hormone levels, mm -hmm. so the ladies are happier when they're using the so product. The men. Oh. Oh, why is it pink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the men too. <laughs> why is it pink? That's pink. Yeah, yeah but that's the that's the color she. they chose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so litmus. Well, she trying to say it's the paper. Is oh. Litmus oh, litmus paper. paper. Okay. Thank you. I mean, it's not dyed. No, litmus paper, you know, you use that to cut the Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Again, flashbacks to biology. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't think it would be related, it's right? <laughs> the next layer in our cherished sanitary napkin is a layer of air laid paper. And this is what our absorbency system is wrapped in. It actually pulls the moisture to the bottom of the pad, keeping you drier longer. And then this is our polymer that's infused into each one of the pads. This is the absorbency system. It can hold up to 300 times its weight in liquid. So I'm going to put it in the cup that had the most amount of water. Yeah, and then I added some to it. So we're going to see what that does. Do what it do. Well, I tell you about the last layer of our cherished sanitary napkin. Man, this one definitely comes up much easier. And if you ladies can see, this actually has four water channels running down. And you see those four strips? Mm -hmm. That is there for breathability. Okay, this is not a trash bag. It's going to allow air to flow through to the body when you're using it. Um, reducing the possibility of growing bacteria in the seat of your pants when using um, this product. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take a look at the um, absorbency systems here, and this is the, the what is this? This is the store brand pad. And it looks like this one actually did have some um, polymer in it. So this is the, wait a minute, let me get something. Okay, so this is. It's like the seed, like the seed. Yeah, yeah. but you see that the, the beads. it still has wow. liquid mm -hmm. that's coming, coming out of it. it. Right. Right. 
our chair sanitary napkin. It definitely um, had more water. It sat there for less amount of time and you can't get a drop out of it. I can actually turn it over oh, wow. and we've turned the liquid into a solid. Whoa. So this is why we definitely um, wow. want to be choosing Cherish. It's a safe, natural alternative to anything that, that we're buying in the stores today. Yeah. You had a question? I was just thinking, because my mom's in a nursing home, what about mm -hmm. the women with the big, you know, ball, like, like they're two to three hundred pounds? Yes. And they're, you know, but they use the, the diapers, you know? Right. I was just wondering, what about that? Yeah, this product will be great for people that has incontinence issues as well. And I'm going to show you. We have four different sizes, okay? So we do have panty liners for everyday use that's also infused with the negative ion strip. So um, you'll be fresh on a daily basis. We have the daytime pads, which is for someone with a normal flow or even someone um, that has a heavy flow. One of their lighter days, they could wear the daytime pad. Um, this is also good for anyone that has like bladder leaks. You know, sometimes we laugh too hard. Something's coming out. So <laughs> this will definitely keep you protected as well as reduce any um, urine smells. This is the nighttime pad. It's a little longer than the daytime pad. It has a double set of wings to lock securely in place. And this would be for someone that has a, a heavy flow, okay? And our overnights. This is the extra long pad. You can uh, toss, turn, and flip and flop in these and not be concerned about mm -hmm. leaks with the overnights. It also has a double set of wings to lock securely in place. Um, so we have a, a lot of people who will use this size pad for incontinence issues. Um, someone that does want full coverage for their incontinence issues may put this pad inside of their um, diaper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that it, when it does get... Um, where it's time to change, they can actually just change this pad. It's going to be less irritating than the diapers that they're using um, because this is, again, the soft cotton, as you felt, so it's going to keep them dry and comfortable. Um, so, yeah, we have people who use this size for our incontinence issues. And also, when you think about that negative ion strip and the nano silver, mm -hmm. like um, right. Danya pointed out, lots of women who use it for incontinence purposes, they suffer with a lot of frequent reoccurring UTIs mm -hmm. right. right because of that and so that can be very helpful in killing that bacteria and cutting down on the frequencies or even eliminating UTIs. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the pen liner, the very first one mm -hmm. you showed, can that help a little bit with if you have a layup and you lay yep. through? Yes. yes. Can that, that help? Well, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, hi. I yes. actually, I don't have a cycle, okay? okay, and so I do have some bladder issues. You know, I like to say once in a while she has a good joke. <laughs> and uh, I can't quite hold it, and, and that's helpful okay. on an everyday basis mm -hmm. for me. Okay. Um, sometimes I travel on the road, and you know, sometimes you got to take the car, put the thing to get the gas, mm -hmm. and then run, run in there, the and then <laughs> hope that you can get, you know, right. into a bathroom. Yeah. So I'll use at least a day pad, okay, um, or sometimes an overnight. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not, it's for whatever the flow is. Right, right. whatever okay. the flow is. Doesn't mean you have to use the nighttime at nighttime. You no. Can use no, the nighttime. no. It's just no. giving you the size of the exactly the it's just the absorbency of, yep. of the pad. Okay. Yep. So even if you do have um it's a great point. If you have a, a heavy flow and you need to wear either your overnights or your nights in the daytime, you do that. You do what's right for you at that a day in your cycle because we know as the days progress some um, with most ladies the cycle changes so your first couple of days you may be heavier than the rest um, and the last uh, three four you can switch out to a day pad for your lights and then once your cycle is over we always recommend you do wear the panty liner because you want to um, have a pH balance throughout the month and just to protect your panties I will share a testimony of a young lady who, um, she's 26 years old, and she suffered really, well, I'm coming from him. She <laughs> suffers really badly with a lot of pain. She said she carried, um, in every pocketbook, she had a small bottle of ibuprofen mm -hmm. and a thermal care heating pad. Mm -hmm. And she said she put one in every pocketbook just in case so she'd never get caught without it. And she would not have, when she felt it coming on, she'd have to take three of the ibuprofen mm -hmm. and put that pad on immediately. Mm -hmm. And it would take her a while before she got some relief. I sent her a pack 
of the of the day pads. Told her to give it a try because I knew she had that issue, mm -hmm. and I was hearing all the testimony. So right. I, and let me see if this is really gonna work for somebody I know. Right. So I sent it to her. She said she was traveling on business. Remember, she had it in her bag. She said she put it on as soon as she felt it, and within 15 minutes, she said the relief she got, she would not have gotten unless she had taken three of those ibuprofen mm. and had that heating pad on mm. for about an hour. Wow. And so she was wow. sold. I told, I called her mama, and I said, listen to what I gave to your baby. <laughs> and then she immediately went and bought $80 worth of pads. Wow. It's like she's never going to be caught without it. Mm. Now, I don't have a pain a cramp testimony mm -hmm. with with the cherish because i'm i don't have them like right now but mm -hmm. i do have a pain testimony i had a pain in my hip oh. i was scheduled to do i had an event friday i had an event saturday and i had an event sunday came home saturday i was talking to this young lady right here i said i don't know if i could do this my pain, my hip is hurting me so bad i need somebody to do this event she said slap one of those overnights on your hip and at first i was like huh and i was like oh well hey i'll try anything right and I did. I put it on my hip. And I kid you not, within 15 minutes, I was just like, wait, is this for real? I know how bad my hip was hurting me. I don't I don't feel it. My son was like, mommy, I think those pads are made with vibranium. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wakanda forever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It absolutely worked. So, <laughs> so I, I know that this is, and when we think about our daughters, because some of us are beyond the age of needing them for a cycle. I wear a, a, a liner every day, right? And it has helped me tremendously. But we have daughters. We have granddaughters. Yeah. We know young women who, if we can get them on a healthier pad mm. as early in life as possible, they may not be going through a lot of these issues, the 600 hysterectomies that are happening mm. on a yearly basis in this country. 600,000. And, 600, yeah. and about 70%. Mm. Of those performed are yes. performed on women that look like us. Mm. So we have to do something to make a difference. Mm. And she had Lanitra has a testimony. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is my testimony. <laughs> yes. So I used the cherish pad, I think it was about right around Christmas. Right around Christmas time. Mm. I used to have like the worst flow like my I, it would feel like stabbing feel like mm -hmm. um like I always had to wear it yeah you use the 800 milligram the uh, ibuprofen mm -hmm. um and I had to wear two of the purple pads of the ones mm -hmm. that's in the store and I still had leakage mm -hmm. um so the moment that Tanya said come try this pad and stuff I was like was looking at it like this is really thin how's this going to help me you know I don't even want to sit on your furniture because I'm afraid uh -huh. that mm -hmm. Within 10 minutes, I did, had a reduction in my cramping. I didn't have to take anything. I've been using these pads since Christmas time. It was November, I think it was like November time. I have not gone back to the other pads because oh everything that you described in these pads mm -hmm. work. And I use them every month. Mm -hmm. As a reduction in the amount of days for my cramping, I mean, mm -hmm. the amount of days for my period, mm -hmm. I only need to use, I purchase the overnights, I use all of them, but the overnights is one I use because it's longer. Mm -hmm. um, just because I just mentally, I just want to make sure I have that security. <laughs> I don't need it. I stay dry all day. Wow. I only need one pack the whole time that I'm on my period. Wow. I don't need to go and have like, you know, with the other ones, I, I was putting two or three on at one time yeah. and then have to go change it. And yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yes, but the reduction of the cramp, no cramping. Awesome. I have no cramping when I'm using these. What about pads. your irritability? Not irritable. Mm -hmm. Do you think it the, that little everyday pad? Well, you call the the, 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 the panty liner. I, I use it too. It does. Wait, I, I, yeah, mm -hmm. I have a. a, a oh, she brought. I don't know if she wants to see this. But there's a, a lady that. Um, okay, so I gave a pack to somebody else, a liner, of an older woman mm -hmm. who does not have a cycle, and she came back to me. She was like. Is it the pads? And I said, well, she said, I just don't feel cranky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. my, my director called me and said, whatever, if she don't buy one month, <laughs> kill me. <laughs> 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 so I'll take the hit for that one. Right. She, really? So yes, it does help. <laughs> yeah, it keeps you balanced. Help mm -hmm. with my anxiety or, mm. you know, my bipolar depression. Well, um, you'll let us know. Yeah, you'll let us know. Thank you.
All right. Well, thank you. Well, we're going to, we want, well, first of all, I want to thank you guys for coming out and, and listening to this wealth of information. I've learned a lot, you know, and every time I am in LaDonna's presence, I'm learning something new about she has really helped change my life from the outside, inside, she's cleans me all up and got me working and, and feeling good and looking looking good and, and you know and part of that you know we're on we're all on a journey for a better life. Yeah. And I will tell you that you know I've found that with Inspire Network, they are actually on a on a that same mission in life. It is a company that was founded by four men of color. It is the actually the only mm -hmm. it is actually the only this is it. This is it. This is There's four gentlemen, and this is the only, the only network marketing company in the world that is owned by four men of color. Oh. Totally right. owned. Right. And, and how did you find out about that situation? Well, well, because they cared about women, and they found this product, and they tested it in a country where, you know, in terms of, in a third world country, to see if this was something that was not only affordable, we, they knew it was going to work, but was it going to be affordable for people? And that's where they tested it, and they brought it right here to the United States. This technology is not new. I will tell you this. The technology, the technology is not new. This, this technology existed overseas for a lot of years, but powers that be did not necessarily want it here. Now, what they did do was they perfected it. Mm -hmm. Because I've tested it against some of those products that mm -hmm. were with the technology, and none of them keep you dry like this cherry. They may have that negative ion strip in there, but they don't keep you dry. Mm -hmm. So they brought it here because they care about women, mm -hmm. right? And they recognize what was happening to women. I We've been doing this now since, I guess, well, the company just made, we celebrated our one-year anniversary on May 23rd, yeah. right? Yeah. It is a company that within the first, we launched May 23rd, 2017. By December 31st, 2017, we had already done six, over $6 million in sales. Mm -hmm. That is totally unheard of. <laughs> Not only that, the people who have, oh, have gotten a hold, who have gotten a hold of this, oh, right. so Kathy Ireland, I don't know if you know Kathy Ireland. Yeah. She is a ba a major brand, a, a, a million billion yeah. dollar mogul. Yeah, she, mm -hmm. is. she got wind of Inspired Network and she had our four founders on her show. Mm -hmm. Never mm -hmm. did she ever have more than two people from a company on the show. She had all four of our, our founders on the show and wanted um again to the rights to their to their story and all of this. Yeah. They did not do they, they so it aired on Kathy Ireland. We also um, are in the works with uh, another, um, a major, I guess it's the Four Seasons mm -hmm. Hotel in Philadelphia, which wants to stock our product. There are lots of, Inspire Network has caught the eye of a lot of people, mm -hmm. right? But we don't stop there because, again, there's a four dynamic young men who see the vision for the future. We are going into a financial branch. Mm -hmm. which would, is, in, and if you're interested in the cryptocurrency, which is a wave of the future, we're going into a coin education that is going to educate people about how to invest in ways to make money. They have a, um, uh, there's also the, um, the, well, they have the foundation, which is the Now We Know Foundation that is going to help, and we are doing it now. We do 5Ks. We partner with different people to raise money and awareness, but we are also going to use that foundation to help women who have been stricken by cancers, mm -hmm. to help, you know, maybe support their children, to help them with medical bills, those who can't work. Mm -hmm. So it really is a company looking to go places, right? And I never thought, when I, when I first saw that video, I was like, all I saw was these pads worked, mm -hmm. and I wanted to know about the pads. I didn't even care that there was a way, a compensation plan attached to it. I just needed to get these pads out to every young person that I know. Mm. But there's a compensation plan with it. And it, all it cost me to be involved with it was $35. Maybe a compensation plan. So yeah. you, you, to be a distributor. To be a distributor. To share the campaign. Now we have the Now We Know campaign, but we also have the Right to Fight campaign for our men. Because men prostate health is a, is a major issue. Mm -hmm. And so... How would that help the prostate? Well, no, not this. There's a there's a whole line of products that help. <laughs> well, well, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm a backtrack. Yes. Yes. Men who have issues with their prostate, mm -hmm. right? Whether it's prostatitis or they have surgery to have their prostate removed, different mm -hmm. things like that, they suffer with leakage too. Yeah. And those same products that they use, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. are made up the same way that leading brand 
So it's can, true. Can so what I will tell you is that there are men who are using these pads because that negative ion strip, mm -hmm. because of the nano silver in that pad, the mm -hmm. negative ion strip helps with inflammation. When you have a prostate issue, that's the swelling of the prostate. Mm -hmm. So anytime you're putting anything in, on that's going to help with that inflammation, but it also helps with the odor mm -hmm. and it absorbs and keeps them dry. So there are men who use that are these pads the chair. That, right. that are yes. using the Cherish pads. So be... Now, not only are they wearing them, they put them in their shoes, too. The, the thiners to help with pain yeah, and exactly. the knees. And, so be careful. If your pads start, you, you go yeah. and you're like, I know I had 10. Okay. What happened? Well, I, you know? got, I got a pain near my well, head. We had, <laughs> head. I'm going to give you this pain. Just put that under the bottom of your foot right there. So, so we, we, we go to different places and we do, just like Shanette did here, we, do, we share this information. With um, we go to doctors' offices and do lunch and learns. We go to um, women's organizations and do demonstrations because we have to get this information out. We weren't aware that there was an issue with the pads. Now people kind of knew about tampons and may have stayed away from that, but we had oh, no idea. Syndrome, right? Yeah. Had no idea that pads. It's a big deal when people were dying. Yeah, it's, it's, still still a big deal. it's still a big deal. It's still a big deal. Oh, it's still really? a big deal. Mm -hmm. It is. Major big but. We we didn't had no idea that there was an issue with the pads until someone brought it to our attention. Mm -hmm. And so awareness, knowledge, what we did, knowledge is not power unless you apply it. Yes, now right. that we have this information, it would be it would be a sin well, I not to share it. It's funny. With I had just said out the statement to some people, I and mean, it just came at the top of my head. And I had said this. I sent that out to and say, you don't know. What, what you, you don't, don't know, know till you know. Now you know. Till you know. Now you know. Right? And so <laughs> at the very least, at the very least, oh now that you know, mind. you need to make sure that the women in your life know, the women mm. that you, you you yourself are taking care of yourself, which means so you should be wearing these clothes. We go everywhere. Yeah, we go everywhere. So how could y'all get this yeah. mass market? Like, I want to say the brand so bad, but you know what brand that... Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the S T. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Girl, how can y'all get on a mass market like that? With this. Well, we're going to do it. Why we're, we're working on that. I mean, because again, we we've been in this for a year. We've been in this for a year. I just feel we like a product like that would have been with oh, the powers well, to well, be on a mar on a wide well, universal let's, scale. Well, let's, let's let's talk a little bit about that. The powers that be, we just talked about the connection, right? The powers that be with the big corporations, mm -hmm. and we talk about the pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. So what, what makes me more money as a big corporation and a pharmaceutical company to have you well hmm. or to have you needing those pharmaceuticals? Yeah. Welcome right. to Walgreens. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that this came those out. Those brands are already household names. So yeah. you're coming well, up. So right. it takes time. Right. Right. Amazon, Amazon yeah. it wasn't mm -hmm. big Amazon. Right. Until, well, wow. I guess time. what I'm saying, Inspire, is that a group or a collaborate of different people, different businesses? It's a company. It's one, it's company. one company. It's one company. It's not one company with two or three companies. It's no, it's one company. company, but it will have lots of different branches. So okay, there's there there, there is right now we are it's like the health and wellness inspire yeah. like but a then tree. you also right we're gonna have branches oh. where you can go into financial education we'll have branches where we're gonna go into educating our young people about how to be entrepreneurs we have a branch that's gonna go into sort of the movie production company mm -hmm. where you have instead of selling your rights to tell your story to somebody else you you control that yourself mm -hmm. different things like that so there will be mm -hmm. lots of we, we i mean again these four founders they are proven documented wow. six and seven figure earners in other realms they're, they're successful in and of their own right 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 mm -hmm. but they've come together and they've created this and how else better to help other people because mm -hmm. they could have easily taken this and said you know what let's sell this to and i don't want to give out too much information mm -hmm. let's sell this to one of them big name companies they mm -hmm. and i'm not going to tell you that they're not knocking I, but that's not what the, their goal is. Especially this one. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. We got shit. Yeah. 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 Right. 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 So that's what we're here for. And so either you need to wow. make sure that you're getting this product for the women that you love and care about mm. um, by supporting whoever invited you to this event. Um, or you can join up. 
because the more voices we are, we I say this all the time, we are our sisters keepers, mm -hmm. right? And we need to come together to make sure that at the very least, all we're responsible for is sharing the information. Mm -hmm. Once we've done that, we've done our job and he's okay with us. Mm -hmm. But if we don't share it, we know it and we don't share it, that then is. that's something we're going to have to answer mm -hmm. for, right? Mm -hmm. right? Amen. So, Amen. Okay, so I, I guess my thing, I'm sure y'all already thought about it, but y'all could the churches, the sororities. Oh, we, yes. oh, we, we, we're doing we're doing we're doing it. We're doing it now. We're, we're all doing it. So if you have an organization or a church that you want us to come in and talk to, yes. we will absolutely do it. Wow. We will. Well Donna okay. invited you. She we, will you know work share with the us. information. Yep. And we'll bring it to you. Okay. Absolutely. Thank right. you. Yeah.